Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for being, thank you all. Thank you all so much for being here. And yeah, welcome back to, um, to the channel. We're gonna jump right into this video and it's all about our stat specimens, okay? Um, I remember once getting orders for blood cultures and the cultures were stat. Like the nurse ordered them stat, okay? Uh, when you're in the field, and those of you who know, you know, if you know, you know, okay? Blood cultures are not uh, processed stat. They can be ordered stat. I may even come up and get them stat, okay? Which you should because, you know, the, the fever has spiked, you know, right now. So these cultures need to be drawn, correct? But I remember a few of my coworkers like, oh, they ordered these stats. Cultures aren't stat. Cultures aren't stat. They're not going to be processed stat. Anything ordered stat, Let's, let's honor that and let's go and collect the specimen stat. With regular specimens, your PTINRs, your CBCs, whatever it is, your basic, whatever, a magnesium, it doesn't matter what the test is. The thing that you are focusing on is the fact that it's ordered the way that it's ordered. So there are several ways a test can be ordered. And this is the this is the base, these are the basic three ways a test will be and can be ordered. And of course, number one is stat. Then you have a time study, and then you have a routine. Let me show you what this looks like. So it would look well, here's the stat label. I don't have any routine labels or uh, I don't have any routine labels to show you or any time study labels. I have done this before. It's been a while, but I want to go back over this really quick because I've been talking about different things on this platform as well as TikTok. And my TikTok link is down below if you guys want to hop over there sometimes and see what's going on. It's a lot of the, not the, not like the exact same, but a lot of, uh, you know, just content kind of inter, interwoven together. So you'd like it. But this is what a stat label would look like it would have the st st okay and that's that you may see ts ts that's a time study test then of course you'd see rt which would be routine so if you need to write that down st is stat ts is time study and then rt is routine now we're going to go over what each one of them mean but today it's all about the stat test or the stat um order the way it was ordered as far as stat goes uh stat status so when a, when a specimen is ordered stat there are scenarios but there's one scenario that you need to know so the question that i have for you all is and i'm going to ask you a question and i want you guys to comment down below and i'm going to give you the answer at the end so if a stat if a order comes across stat Okay, is that patient, you have A, B, C, D, multiple choice. If you see an order, it's a stat order. Out of the four multiple choice to choose from here, which is the correct one? A stat order, this patient is A, serious condition, B, is this patient in surgery, C, is this patient critical? Or D, is this patient in the emergency room slash ER? So pick one of those. Is the patient serious, in surgery, critical, or in the ER? That's a, when this particular situation, now this is a test prep question. This has been on a, this is in your book for the NHA, this is for ASCP, this is an exam question. So go ahead and answer that. And always remember when you see a stat, it is time to go get this stat. 
okay there is no let me wait let me finish my coffee let me do this let me do that i have time no ma'am no sir it is a stat and i'll talk more about the blood cultures also in a, in, a, in another video but yes blood cultures are not processed stat but if a nurse orders them stat it is you know a good idea you know so go ahead and collect the specimen for the doctor for the nurse that's after okay you get those uh we'll say stat stats okay <laughs> um because you can put the cultures if you have five stats right you got to go get a magnesium you got to go get a ptinr you know whatever the case may be it doesn't matter the color too okay it doesn't it doesn't matter and then you have a, a set of cultures to get you can go draw those cultures last now you're only going to get five stats in a row like that if you are good and if you're short staffed or whatever and these tests these labs have to be drawn you you will be that person and that's because they know okay you're going to go up and you're going to get them you draw the first one you put it in the tube station make sure it goes down etc etc you don't hold on to them you send them down to the lab and this is the this is in the case in the event i'm sorry that you are in a hospital setting you come out of the room you put it in the tube station send it to the lab go to the second one stick them put in the tube station make sure it's on its way to the lab because stats are not to be you know you don't hold on to your stats they're not on your tray you don't carry them around you send them as soon as you collect them so that could happen but the thing is if there's a set of cultures in that five that you just went up with just hold them for last yes you can go get those last okay get everything else first and do your cultures last because why they're not going to be processed stat they're going to get to the lab and they're going to sit because that's what they have to do they have to be they have to sit okay so yes wanted to put that out there for our stats if i'm not clear let me know don't you all forget about phlebotomy after dark tonight okay 9 30 p.m central time yes we are going we had a ball last night i love our friday pop-ups i should have just called to the pop-up live remember those anyway i popped up live last night we are going live tonight and we will go over um you know some of this if you want but we got some family members that that need us to lay our hands on them let's talk to them let's lift them up so let's do some of that between tonight and tomorrow um just for fun just for kicks and giggles and you know to keep keep us together so the answer for the question if a um there's a stat order is it a b c or d this patient is what what type of what type of uh situation is this patient in is this patient serious in surgery critical or in the er our answer is critical what was that c critical yes a stat means critical a stat is not serious a stat for a phlebotomist is not in surgery a stat um, and this situation is not the ER. So this is a test prep question. So you have to look at it like, wow, if I get a stat, what am I doing? The, what does that mean? The patient is critical. Yes. Okay. If you don't know, you don't know. But if you know, you know. If you have questions, comments, or concerns about that, we can go over it and dive into it a little more tonight. Phlebotomy After Dark. I look forward to seeing you all there. So be there or be square. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Bye.